Welcome back to Thief 3. Oh, yeah. Let's go. Only thing is, I just loaded up the game and it's been like a week since I've played, so I have no fucking clue what I'm doing. Uh, I know I'm in the Keeper compound and I need to, okay, search Erlin's quarters. Orlin's quarters. On the top floor for information. Yep, yep, yep. In other words, go. I need to go everywhere. And I believe I pretty much just entered the Keeper compound. Um... Yeah, I think I came in from here, right? And then I, like, went down the stairs or something? I don't know. Let's just go around. I don't even know where I am. That was close. Okay, that was the count's right. I came from there. Okay, and then I must have gone over here. Okay, now I know where I am. Right, so I just entered... Uh, this place. Yeah, I'm like right here. Alright, lower library somewhere there. Elder's library up there. Dormitory, dining hall. Hmm, let's stay... Let's stay down. I don't want to go... I don't want to go to a different floor until I fully explored this one. An actual page. Removed. Torn out. It hardly seems believable. Yet Elder Gravis hardly seemed surprised. Like he already knew the Chronicles had been tampered with. Oh yeah, I almost forgot to mention. Um, a viewer... Um... A viewer suggested that I should try shooting a moss arrow at a person and see what happens. I'm not sure if they were just curious or if they knew something would happen, but uh, let's find out. I'm wondering if maybe it, like, wraps around their face and constricts them. <laughs> Wait, is that, is that permanent? Or... Like, do I need to do this? Ouch. Who is there? Uh... There. In the... <sighs> Can't see! I knew I would find you. That didn't work out how I thought it would. Um. Hmm. Why? Why would hitting them in the back with a blackjack cause them to suddenly stop suffocating? Well, let me try that again. I want to know if they actually will suffocate or if it, it just like... You know, if they just try to like rip it off for a while, like 10 seconds or something, and then they get it off and they come back to being fine. Okay, I'm back. I forgot to hit record. Sorry. <laughs> anyway, I tested the moss arrow. It does not kill them. No, they just suffocate for like 10 seconds or something. And that's it. I guess then they rip it off of their face. So it's kind of like a flashbang. So I guess if I'm out of flashbangs, I can kind of use that. Anyway, let's whack this guy. Oof. There we go. Ah, <sighs> it's so hard for me to remember to keep pressing record. Especially when I've been away from it for a while, because I don't do that for any other game. I just press record once and then forget about it. I hope I don't forget again. If I forget for like an hour, that would be so embarrassing. Get, get out of the way. Actually, I better move you. Let's move him out of the pathway, so if anyone comes across here, they won't freak out better, sort of. Alright, well that's in full light. Actually, I can fix that. There we go. Huh. Well, there's a light up there, and then there's some candles. I don't think putting out the candles, if I even can, would really do much. Can I get behind him? I might have to distract him. Do I even need to? Well, there's a note there. Which would probably be nice to have if it's hidden right next to a guard. I'm guessing it's valuable. I could gas him, but I want to save that. Oh, something coming. 
Oh, there must be someone upstairs. Well, hold on. It looks like he's not... It looks like he's not turning, so I'm going to try to come to, at him from the other side. I think I might have an angle. Yeah, I think I can do this. I don't think he'll see me. Shh. Shh. It's okay. Wait a minute. I don't know if this is going to work. I'm not... I think I might need to be more behind him. Shit. Um... I don't want to use a noisemaker arrow because it's going to attract a lot of people, not just him. Some movement. There is nothing to see and much work to be done. Is there something I can throw? You know what? Fuck it. There we go. That solves that problem. <laughs> Come here. Get your hand out of my face. What the hell? Your fingers appear to be made of blocks. I'm sorry you've been stricken with a severe birth defect called low polygon count. It is very un unfortunate indeed. Two lower libraries. Oh. I guess the secret door is the lower library? The one that doesn't work? Hmm. Until further... Oh, sh it's just that notice again. Until the Brethren of Atreus has been dealt with, we cannot allow unfed to travel through our compound. Yep. Well, that was a waste. Alright, that just goes back there. So I guess it's upstairs? Yeah, time to go upstairs. Take a look at the map. Alright, so... I don't know what's upstairs and what's downstairs on this damn thing. Obviously, these go up, and then this must be the upstairs. Alright. Wait, is this something I can steal or something I can use? Because that looks like a bell, and I don't really want to use that. Nope, I took it. I just stole a bell. Okay. Ah, the scribe room. That must be the scribarium. Glyph Warden Ruhan. Have you heard of any further untoward behavior on the part of the glyphs in the scribarium? Be sure to make note of exactly what scribes and which glyphs have proved difficult. Notify me immediately should any further changes occur. I pass in and out of the shadows like the wind. I'm a breeze. Where should I go? I guess that goes to the lower libraries, maybe? Uh, I don't know, I'm gonna go this way. May you scribe well tonight. Strange. That light is off. Strange. <gasps> there. Shit, there you are. Give up. <laughs> Quietly. Uh, I thought I threw you. Hold on. Hey. There we go. Oh, can't see. Oh, how unfortunate. Goodbye. Yeah, I probably should have entered a, uh, a better place there. Whoops. Is that light? Is Artemis in his room? He asked if he might borrow the letters of the Diocesan, but I missed him at the evening meal. No, Artemis left nearly before Hiding. dawn, but with no word of his return plans. No word? Orland might find that curious. You've heard the rumors of the Rogue Keepers, a splinter group, or even groups. Orland would only find it curious if someone were to tell him. And don't you think that there have been more than enough accused already? Yes, well, if you do see Artemis, tell him that I cannot find the letters. Another must have borrowed them, though I gave no permission. I will tell him, if I see him.
What the fuck? Are what? I must enlist the help of others. Wait. What has happened? What is going? I knew it was. E okay, let me load my save game. What the hell is going on? Why? Why did he come up to the corner of the room where I am and then run around in a circle rather than going through the door? What the fuck? This game, man. What's wrong with this game? And this time I'm not going to forget to record. Don't forget to record. Don't forget to record. Don't forget to record. Loading. Let's try all of that again. But this time without sucking. And let's go the other way for fun. It's all right, it's been like a week since I've played. I'm getting into it again. Getting into the mood. Greetings to you. May you scribe well a fleeting glance. Alright, where exactly is he gonna come? Cause, actually, hold on. Don't come here, don't come here, don't come here! Yeah, fuck you. <laughs> so strange, I seem to have... I knew it. I know you were there. What I don't know is who or why. Strange, I seem to have almost suffocated by a moss arrow, and then my torch went out. Might have been over here. I just took her staff. Uh, could someone have just taken it? Could someone have just thrown it? How strange. Must have been a rat. Things will go better for you if you do. I can't move where he's gonna see me. Please don't come more this way. Please don't come more this way. Uh, no one is here ah. now. But I remain convinced there was someone. These are dark times. Go with care. Oh my god. That was so fucking close. Wow. Okay. Alright, what is this? This is... Oh, it's just another entrance to the scribe room. Okay. Hello, scribberarierers. Have you been scribbing today? Are we not here to learn? Yet, if I suggest something, the only reply is that it is not worth further study. I would knock you out, but I think a guard keeps coming in here. Yes, cease your staring at the walls, and return to your staring at the walls. Oh, it's one guard that goes back and forth. Gotcha. <gasps> Come with me, scribe. Don't believe the guard will see you. Should have time enough to get to the other one. Oh, wait, wait, wait. You can't get people in a chair. That's right. Can't get people in a chair. They're invincible to being to blows in the back of the head. Because, you know, that's a thing, right? Hmm. I think I can... Shit, he's coming back. Quiet. Be quiet. Don't make a noise. Shh. Okay, he's got. I think I can. Ooh, I think I can grab it here. Oh yeah. Wait a minute. I only have two percent of the loot. 
Holy shit, how much money do they have in here? Or how much valuables? Damn. Is that something I can steal? No. Is that really everything in the scribarium? One special loot item? Alright, guess that's it. Alright, let's take this fucking guard out. Let's take him out right now. Okay, goodbye. Turn that Stop. on again immediately. Could have been. Studies. Oh. Hmm, the person I was talking to seems to have disappeared. Holy shit. Come with me. Come with me. <laughs> Come with me. Oh my god. <laughs> oh shit. Oh Whatever shit. it was I heard seems to be gone now. I hope that is the last distraction for the night. <laughs> oh, I forgot that the statues can actually move and make noise. I thought they were just static objects. Holy shit. Did I just see? Nope, you saw nothing. Oh shit, that sounded nasty. I think it just impaled her upon the sword. Hi. How you doing, buddy? Hold on just a second. Let me just get situated here. Something move. Yes, it was me. No. Oh. I didn't see anything. It, it seems Where your staff is. That wand? Oh, it's over there. You Have better go get it. it. It's right there. Ugh. And now you're asleep. Good night. I shouldn't be cruel. You can have your staff back. There you go. Alright, there's some loot over there. Is that like a special place I can access? That looks like a special loot item. Looks like scales. Alright, how do I get there? I think I have to climb up. I, I think I have to go back to the main chamber and like climb up and stuff. Oh, wait a minute. That's right, I can climb rock walls. Well, shit. Can I just do this then? <laughs> that was easier than I thought. Bingo! <laughs> Man, I'm gonna be rich. I have, that was 450 and I only have 11% of the loot. 11%. Dining hall? Take a look at the map. Dining hall. Oh, fuck this map. Wait, was that the guard muttering? No, there's gotta be someone else in here. Someone up above? Hmm. 
And of course, I can't put out this chandelier thing because it doesn't use uh, doesn't use candles. I don't want to take them out in the middle of the hall because I think there might be people above watching. Okay, here we go. Okay. Look at all this stuff. Anyone watching? Anyone watching? Hello? Nope. Wow, damn, another special loot. There's a lot of special loot in here. The Imbris Analex finally arrived by ship undamaged by the salt spray. Our agents were able to secure it, though the price was quite steep. The captain seemed surprised that the package contained no platinum or diamonds, as he could conceive of no object of greater value. It has been brought to the scribe room for immediate transcription. Oh, that's talking about the special loot item that I just stole. Okay. Transcription of received volumes must be current with at least three true copies of all new works, and four true copies of Compendia. Acquisition of knowledge is an arduous journey. To lose what we have learned takes but a moment. The brethren and betrayer seeks to destroy all that we have. Do not let Sloth become his ally. Alright, well, I guess I'll go upstairs. Oh, wait a minute, that painting can be stolen? It can, I see the glint. Whoa. Hello. Wait, it doesn't work. Oh, wait, is that... That's a keyhole of some sort. Huh. Okay, I guess I'll come back here later. See if I can get this from here. Nah, all right. I cut that painting out of its frame in midair. Cuz I'm motherfucking Garrett. Oh shit. Alright, so I guess this is where I'd come if I wanted to influence the votes, but unfortunately that already happened. So... Yep, I'm done here. Alright, time to continue on this way and see where this goes. Oh, is it just back here? Ah. So many people watching. It looks like there's either a room back there or just loot. Seems like there should be something there. It's awfully well lit. But it's also too damn dangerous. I don't care that much. Alright, where can I go? <laughs> I've already explored all of this. Explore the Scribarium. Yeah, let's head to the other side. I think I've explored the other side, though. Well... Maybe I haven't. I explored the Scribarium on the other side because they both lead to the same place, but there might be a different side room. 
Oh yeah, I gotta steal that again. And that. And read that. Yeah, that's the same scribarium, but what's back here? New things. Turn the lights off when I still need them. Truly, these are dark times. <laughs> Literally dark times. Where did he just go? What is this? Oh, dormitory. Alright, that's just back out there to the main chamber. Alright, let's pay a visit to the dorm. It looks like he's coming out, though. Ah, yes, this place. Just in case she comes out, let me move the body out of the way, because sometimes after you trigger a conversation, they decide to go back to their patrol routes. Which is very inconvenient. Uh -uh. uh -uh. Alright, let me trigger the conversation script. It's really hard not to see through what's happening in the game. Room. Let's see, there's probably a big... Within the level editor, there's probably a big box here that triggers the script. Let's see, where is it? Where is it? Oh, haven't hit it yet. Huh? Huh? Oh, wait a minute, there's no one for her to talk to. Did I already trigger it? I don't know, whatever. Keeper Emery, I spied an initiate reading the Bafford Chronicles in the dining hall this eve. Such travesties of the written word may have their place in an nobleman's store, but are inappropriate here. The monetary value of the book matters not to a scholar. See to it that the book is removed from the hall and destroyed. The Bafford Chronicles? What, is that like a mystery novel or something? Well, I could lockpick it, but how about I knock her out first? The hell is she even doing? Just staring at the feet of a big statue? Is that her idea of a good night? Yeah, I spent the past ten hours staring at the feet of a stone statue. It was nice. I enjoyed it. And then I got knocked out, which was kind of weird, but I'm fine. It must have been those rats again, you know, always knocking me out, hitting me in the back of the head with their clubs. Wait, that doesn't seem right. Alright, I won't be rude. You can have your staff. There you go. Where did that just go? Oh. It's kind of like glitched into the wall behind the gargoyle statue. Huh, well, maybe she'll find it. It'll be a puzzle. It'll be a journey when she wakes up. Oh, my view just did a 360. Jewels, money? Jewels, hell yeah. This looks like Artemis's room. Maybe I can find out where he went. Journal of Keeper Artemis. There is indeed something amiss with Garrett, but I am not convinced of his guilt. The prophecies do not lie. The clock tower speaks ill of the future. First Keeper Orland acts hastily. The balance is no longer within him, and I fear for the future of our order. I could use my Keeper Ring to open the passages leading to his quarters, but suppose I found nothing to validate the intrusion. I can only hope that by night, 
My night journeys uncover something before I am discovered acting outside protocol. Ooh, so he has a special ring. The Keeper Ring. Keeper Morrow has gifted the Order with a sect, a set of golden scales. It speaks to what we have become that such a trinket, precious only for its metal, is so valued. They have been placed on display in the Elder's Library. Perhaps I am mistaken, and they will serve to inspire. Well, I already stole it, so they will serve to fill my coffers. At last, I may have learned something of the one who lies dormant. My investigation may take several days, and I must leave without permission. Will I be the next to be accused of treachery? It hardly matters. I do not even bring my robes and my ring with me, for fear that if I die, our secrets may be compromised. Oh, he left his robes and his ring. Well, I'll take the ring, but can I play dress up and put on his robes? Because that'd be so fun. Ooh, can I do it? Can I do it? Please, please, please. I want to play the Garrett dress up game. Damn it. He said he left his robe. Where the, f where the fuck is his robe? Lies. It was all lies. Wouldn't that be awesome if he could put on the robes and just pretend? Like, it'd be kind of like uh, the Hitman games. Actually, could you? I barely played the Hitman games. I don't remember if you could put on other people's costumes and pretend to be them in the older Hitman games, but I know in the newest one, Hitman Absolution, you can do that. You just can't be near anyone else for too long or they get suspicious, you know, because they don't recognize you. Doing that in the Thief game would be pretty damn cool. You know, so long as you keep your head down and you don't get too close to them, you can be one of them. Alright, well I suppose the ring probably opens up that secret chamber on the other side? Probably. Oh, whoa. There's another one? Holy shit! Well... Such big stairs speak of big money. Keeper Cassandra, I am anxious to see what is happening in the city of late. Bring me a copy of reports as quickly as possible. Artemis will use his Keeper Ring to provide you access to the passage leading to my quarters. First Keeper Orland. Yep, so that's Orland's quarters. Anything stashed amongst the beds? Nope. Let's go. Okay, they're looking. There we go. What is with the keepers and having fountains on rugs in the middle of their fucking rooms? Like, why? Alright, well, it looks like he's not home. I'm gonna close his door. Orland, Orland. I wouldn't have thought you were the <clears throat> peeping Tom sort. What? What makes you say he's a peeping Tom? I don't know. Let's loot everything first, though. Journal of First Keeper Orland. I wonder if Katika keeps secrets even to herself. Twice, she has sent me a note with instructions but said nothing in council. But she speaks little beyond prophecy. I am not pleased that the council allows Garrett back into our midst. He cares nothing for balance or the knowledge we guard. Even Artemis will rue this decision. I take no joy in being proven right about Garrett, for it resulted in the death of my most trusted colleague. Had I stood more strongly against him, Katika would not now be dead and none has the skill to take her place as interpreter. 
Gamal is far untrained, but she is all we have. I must make arrangements for her promotion. Another note has arrived in the hand I knew as Katika's. If it is her, no, that is madness. If not her, then who have I obe obeyed for so long? Our halls are not safe. I am binding the keeper door glyphs shut so all must pass in full view. Well, except me. The enforcers have had no luck destroying Garrett. He has learned more of our secrets than we thought. Tonight I shall see if I still remember the art of the unseen. If Garrett is in the city, I shall find him, and the enforcers... We'll finish this. With the binding seal still in place, and kept safely in my room, and no one may enter through the old quarter passage. Only when Garrett is dead shall I melt the seal with fire, lest our, lest our safety be compromised. Well, I know where I'm going. I'm going through the old quarter passage, wherever that is. I'm not sure if that's supposed to be water or like a bowl full of concrete. I don't know what the hell that is. Uh-huh. That seal must be what Orland's using to hide the door glyphs. Time for me to get rid of it. All right, let's rip this sucker open. Boom! Wait, what? Do I just, like, set it down? Wait, oh, what is that? I'm sure you have been concerned as well as I over Garrett's motives, and I applaud your caution. I advise that you restrict his access to the upper libraries in particular. Those books are our most prized repositories of knowledge, and we cannot risk them being ill-used. Uh, okay, what the hell do I do with this? Oh, do I need to melt it? I bet I need to melt it. Hold on. Destroy the binding seal in Orland's quarters. Um, destroy it. What if I did this? Oh yeah. Wait, new upgrade acquired? What? Oh, I guess the ability to go through the glyph doors again? I don't know. Done. Visit Katika's murder site in the lower libraries to investigate the cause of her death. Alright. Let's do it. I just accidentally used a flash bomb. I just flashed myself. Whoops. Okay, lower libraries. How do I get there? Like, I don't know where this is supposed to be. Two lower libraries, but where is the two lower libraries? Is it here? I don't know, but obviously I need to go... Oh, oh yeah, yeah. No, I know where it is. It's that glyph. The glyph back in the main chamber where I used the gas arrow on that guard. Yeah, right there. Bingo! Do you wish to enter lower libraries? Yes, I do. Ambition will usurp a balance. The treacheries of the ignorant, the follies of the blind. From Katika's Notes on the Prophecies. Where did I come from? Up there? Yes. <laughs> what? I don't understand. I came through there, right? I came down through there? So why is my spawn point, like, right here? Instead, my spawn point was down the stairs and shoved in the corner. Like, why? 
That's so bizarre. Hall of Statues. Do I have a new map? Oh, yeah, here we go. Lower Libraries, which I... Let me guess, I have to switch to every time I open the maps? Of course! <sighs> Good job. Good job, game. Right, I came in here. Okay, so I'm going to take a right off of the stairs to get to Katika's Chambers, and then Old Quarter Passage will be my way out. So yeah, let's stop by Katika's first, and then go out. So taking a right is a right, right? Go right, yeah. Take a right. Two Katika's Chambers. Shut up. Holy shit, you can actually hit them. Oh. I thought you couldn't. Uh, wait a minute. Okay, I, I thought maybe this was Katika's chambers itself. I don't think it is, because didn't... Didn't the council members say that they were going to put a guard outside of her door? And there's no guard here. Maybe he's further in? Oh, oh wait, whoa. Holy shit, I didn't even see that person. Well, I can't knock them out because they're in a chair. But I can read the book right in front of them and steal that. Who did this knows a lot more about glyphs than most keepers. That's not good. Wait a minute. That's Katika. That's Katika's dead body. That's right, she was like turned to stone. What the But there's supposed to be a guard outside of her chamber. Where's the guard? I'm confused. Alright, well, let's see what she was reading. Algolvi's Treatise on Sentience, Section 24. To trace the history of the artifacts is to trace a history of strife and chaos. Where they appear, war follows, or catastrophe. Several factions have ascribed a benefit, a uh, beneficent purpose. Uh, or even a religious origin to the artifacts that fall into their hands. But they delude themselves. An artifact serves no master but itself. To name them artifacts as if they shared one origin or motive is misleading. Several are sentient, but whether they share a common sentience is unknown. They have never gathered in one place. To speculate what might happen is beyond current knowledge, the end of the world, or the beginning of something entirely new. Following the movements of these elusive objects is relatively easy as each subsequent owner falls prey to their influences. An exception to this is the crown the whereabouts of which is unknown references to it can be found <clears throat> references to it can be found in pagan mythologies who believe it was given by the trickster to an offshoot race though we can find no evidence that this race ever existed the trickster i guess the offshoot race would be the fish people i don't remember what they're called hmm hmm so, some of the artifacts that I've been stealing, like the chalice and the crown, those are sentient? But how can they exert any influence whatsoever? They're an object. I don't understand. Do they just, like, uh, change events by altering the owner of them? Like they poison their minds or something? I don't know. Well, I almost have enough loot. Compiled uh, lexicography, volume what's it, uh, volume four, religion, 
A malcontent, Hammer, a member of the lower class who has publicly spoken against the warship of the Builder. Wait, what is a lexicography? I have no idea what that means. Lexicon. I know, I've heard of the word lexicon, but I don't remember what that means. Huh. Malefactor, Hammer, one who has actively tried to harm the religion of the Builder, could theoretically be applied to a Hammerite actively trying to harm the religion of the Wood Lord, but not applied to such by the Hammerite Church. Manfool. <laughs> okay, I've heard them calling, pagans calling people manfools. Oh, so this is like what various religious factions call people and what it means? Alright, so the pagans call people manfool. That means a non believer, especially an urban resident. Mechanist religion, a schism of the Hammerite religion. C. What? C? Formed by the Prophet Karis. The mechanists were characterized by a focus on machinery and technology and an overwhelming desire to destroy elements of nature. After this, the destruction of their primary cathedral, Soulforge, and the death of Karis, that was me, the religion was disbanded. Yep, they all said, fuck this. C. Hammerite heresy trials. Oh, see, Ham uh, see Hamrite Heresy Trials, the, for more information. Neat. I like little details like that, just little backstory, world-building things. I like it. Adds more flavor to the universe. Hey, wait a minute. There's a little... There's like a little thing up there. Whoa, the fuck? I didn't know the benches could be moved. The fuck? How did I even move it? <laughs> okay. Garrett, the furniture destructor. Hmm. Interesting. I don't know why the other ones moved and these won't. Alright, anyway, like I was gonna do, is there something up here? It looks like there could be something up here. <laughs> There's nothing up here. <laughs> Alright, so these are her actual chambers. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna get 60% of the loot right now. Uh, something tells me that note's not going to contain kind words because it's in the mouth of a gargoyle. Kind of creepy. All right. Oh, of course, it's for me. Garrett, surprised are we to see a note, a paper naming you by your very own name? Are you answering your questions or are you simply questioning your answers? I know what you seek, and you seek what I know. Great. Thanks for the help. No one is supposed to know I'm here. So who left me this note? I'll go to the Hall of Statues to meet whoever left you the note. What? What about the note? It told me to go to the Hall of Statues. I mean, the game's telling me to go, but the note didn't, so what? Uh, eh, whatever. Hmm, what's up here? Oh, this is actually the Hall of Statues. Yeah, it looks like there's two entrances. If I go straight, I'll go to the Old Quarter Passage. Doesn't look like there's anyone in here. I'm a bit wary, though, because it's fully lit. Hall of Statues? Wait, if that goes to the Hall of Statues, where does this go? Whoa. Where is this? Is 
Is this the old quarter passage? I don't know. Looks like a perfect place for a creepy meeting. This is the place, all right. Why do I smell a rat? Terminus Animus, take the power, the glyphs, the bindings, live, walk, talk, and obey! Yes, my will, my desires, Terminus Animus, awake! is here among you somewhere. Seek, fetch, find him out. Crush him till breathing stops. Cut him till bleeding stops. Do not let him escape. Yes. I must leave you my helpers, my minions, my stone warriors, and secret myself away. Yes, must keep secret. Must stay hidden a little while longer. Oh, so many secrets. Well, shit. Uh... Holy crap. That's actually really cool and really creepy. The statue that... The statues that I've been running past this whole time could be reanimated. God, I mean, for all I know, maybe they were originally people, and then they were turned to stone, and just preserved like that? Okay, question. Can you knock out a rock statue thing? With a blackjack? Uh, probably not. I'm not gonna try it. Well. Well, well, well. I'm guessing my objective is now to get the fuck out. Leave through the old quarter passage. Yeah. Okay, well, let's start with this. really did do a good job with a lot of the audio in this game. Especially the voices. So many creepy different voices. You got these stone people's voices, you have the rat people's voices, the fish people, the pagans, and all of their man fools stuff. Oh, oh, oh. Ooh, a chest. I don't mean to be crude, but it appears this man is rock hard. Is that a pressure plate? No, that's where one of them came from.
Alright, I could go through the main door. Uh, what is the main door? Is that that? Is this the side entrance? I think this might be the side entrance. Oh shit, there's more up there. Oh. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah, they're on high alert. Wait a minute, this one looks different. This one looks like a gargoyle. Holy shit. Yeah, that, that was not a man. Find and catch and find and crush and find. Nothing and nothing and nothing. Holy shit. Alright, that's bad. Yeah. Uh, wait, that's... That's the main chamber. Alright, so that's back here. So wait, doesn't that go to the Hall of Statues? Ugh. Yeah, what is this then? I'm just gonna close that door. I think this might be the old quarter? It doesn't seem like it could be. I don't feel like I've traveled enough, but maybe... Actually, you know what? It pro it's probably this. I think it's this right here. Yeah. Yep, that's it. Okay. Alright, let's make it a bit darker in here. There's some nice stuff to steal. Climb straight up here. Hold on. Quickly, quickly, quickly. Go, 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 go. I think I'm good. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Yes, I made it, I made it, I made it, I made it. Do you wish to end the mission? Is it going to load or is it going to... Uh, who the fuck knows, I'm going to stop recording anyway. More than I bargained for. A hideous old woman who makes statues walk. Who is out for my blood and knows me by name. Orland doesn't seem to have a clue, so I don't think he's my man after all. Artemis didn't leave me much to go on either. I managed to escape the ambush, but the keepers still think I'm the enemy. In fact, I only know of one person who might be able to help me. A Hammerite named Inspector Drept. Inspector Drept. 
continue. I think this is where I get prompted to go to... What is it called? The Cradle? <laughs> oh, I can't wait for that level. Oh god. The hell am I? This must be a temporary... quarter, right? I mean, obviously this isn't my main room because they know where I am. Or they would... they know where that is. Oh, wow. Yeah, I'd say this is pretty well hidden. Alright, so what am I doing? Find Inspector Drept in Aldale to learn about uh, the hag who set a trap for you in Keeper Compact. Oh, that was the hag? I didn't even make that connection. I mean, I never even got to see her. I guess she did kind of sound old. Enter Drept's workshop through the window. 